I don't even know what lunch food is. Like you think lunch, you think salads and sandwiches. Today we're having pancakes. This is a big step for me, okay? I used to be a lunch hater. Today we are lunch lovers. This video is for the folks like me who don't exactly love cooking. If you are a chef, if you know your way around the kitchen, this video is probably not for you. This is um, the lazy edition, per usual, of good, fun, healthy, balanced, nutritious, yummy, delicious, club, another club, another club. Maybe not full of time, it's the middle of the day, you need to get back to work. Maybe you're just kind of not that creative in the kitchen, you want some new recipes to try. Recipes is a tender word, I don't even know if I could apply it to this video, but fun different things to have as a nutritious lunch throughout the day. Obviously, I'm not a registered dietitian, but you know, we try our best. We try to live that healthy lifestyle. We try to have that balanced diet. We're working on our foods. We're loving ourselves. And that's all we can do. This is my shirt. It has a wolf on it. Hungry like a wolf. <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye. Also, this video I hope is gonna be a little bit of higher quality for a kitchen video because your girl finally bought a tripod. Only took me like 14 months. It's fine, we're here, we're doing it. We'll start with what I consider to be the more difficult recipes and work our way down or up. <clears throat> <clears throat> On today's menu, I will be preparing a meatless, smart, tender option with a side of lemon glazed garlic kale. Does that even sound good? I don't know. I've made this kale before in a video. I want to say it was Francesca Farrago, and I could be wrong, but I followed an influencer's diet for the day. They made this kale. I fell in love with it. In fact, I was obsessed with it for months on end, and then I just kind of stopped buying kale for a hot sec, but we're back. These are our certified vegan smart tenders. It's plant-based chicken. You can obviously use real meat if you want to, but these are a great plant-based option. I used to be super intimidated to cook kale because I didn't I just didn't know how. I never bothered learning. Take a cup of water. Sometimes you need a little bit more. Then you're going to steam it for like four to five minutes. Basically, you're gonna cook the kale. <laughs> Here I am trying to give you recipes and I don't even know them for certain. In the meantime, I'm gonna cook the tenders. Cooking in the kitchen with Tay. If somebody is a music writer, they want to write me a theme song. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for the chef. Let's hear it for my baby. Uh, uh. I'm just gonna toss the kale super quickly and then I'm gonna add my garlic right now so the garlic can sit in there for a little bit longer. These angles are like somebody who's literally never used a tripod before. All right, but now that the kale is like definitely starting to look like it's finished, this is my favorite part. We're going to add in some toasted almonds, as much as you want. At least I love them. So add as much as you prefer. Then we're gonna add lemon juice and then just salt and pepper, baby. Cooking is so fun. And you're just essentially going to have it on here until the almonds are a little bit more toasted and then we're good to go. I feel like the key to cooking something like kale is just finding a recipe that you think is delicious. My mom grew up absolutely despising Brussels sprouts, thought they were the grossest thing on the planet earth but as she got older and as she was cooking for us kids she kind of started experimenting around with them after hating them for pretty much all of her life found some amazing recipes and now she basically got the whole family to love brussels sprouts because you can make them taste so stinking good if you grill them or if you season them right and that was kale for me i used to not like kale whatsoever because if it's bad if it's steamed gross it's just nasty so find a good recipe that you like and stick with it and then just keep mastering it. Although I don't think I mastered this literally whatsoever. I think I got just way too caught up in the filming today. Now the kill looks gross, but we're plating it anyways. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this. You're like, what the? Starting with the delicious tender. Mm. Mm. Money, baby. <clears throat> Love it. Love it. I'm not going to lie. I was nervous about the kale. I thought I messed it up. Definitely could have toasted the almonds a lot more, but the kale still has that crunch. And that's what we want to preserve. We don't want no soggy kale. But so much flavor from the lemon, the garlic, salt, pepper, the almond slices. We love, love to see it. I think this took me about 15 minutes in total to make. And I was dealing with the tripod, moving that around. So probably even less for you. But quick, 
easy. We got some greens, fiber, fats, protein. We love to see it. Pretty balanced, not gonna lie, and I think it's just an easy recipe that I can throw on if I'm in the middle of something and I don't have a crazy amount of time to actually cook and clean up, etc., etc. Mmm! I don't know how I'm gonna make three more recipes. I am just... <laughs> I'm already full from the first one. This one I think is a little bit basic, but sometimes you know you gotta go back to the basics to appreciate them more, and it's easy and delicious. So, kinda sounds like a win-win-win to me. You're gonna take a pan, like so. This is gonna look like a lot, but I'm gonna cook up all of this turkey, and really it just because this is the Costco size, so we cook it up, we use it all week long, which is a fantastic deal if you love eating that much turkey. Keith and I told our friend's mom once that we use ground turkey quite often for dinner, I'd say, and she couldn't wrap her- ah! What is happening? She couldn't wrap her head around the idea that we just kind of enjoyed eating ground turkey. <laughs> I mean, we season it so well and we just put it with vegetables and rice and it's extremely easy because you can't really mess up turkey. You can mess up chicken. We don't really, or I don't really eat steak or beef really. So it's kind of an easy option for us, but she's like, you just use ground turkey? And it's weird, but we like it. <laughs> of course, seasoning is a huge part of making sure that your food actually tastes delicious. So I kind of go hard on the seasonings, especially because I'm not a sauce person. So I'm not gonna be dipping my food into anything. And I feel like when you need to dip it into something, sometimes it doesn't taste as good on its own. You know what I'm saying? I try and switch it up, but right now I'm going to use a little bit of onion powder. This is 21 seasoning salute. It kind of reminds me of Top Ramen seasoning. It's black pepper, onion, celery seed, rosemary, cumin, all the yummy stuff. Speaking of, then we have an everyday seasoning. This is just from Trader Joe's. It's great for meats and different types of poultry and whatnot. I just don't shy away. Now, of course, you know, if you're trying to go really, really light, you're trying to watch all your sodium, something to be mindful of, but also make sure your food tastes good. You know what I mean? Lastly, garlic and pepper, and then I'll just add a little bit of salt, just to kind of give it that final little kick home. This already came pre-mixed. I'm basically just adding greens as my base. It's kale, Brussels sprout, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, <laughs> words. I would also season these as well, but really find any green that you like as your base and then just add the turkey on top. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh my gosh. Then you gotta put a little pretty dressing on her, okay? I'm a lemon kind of gal, so I'll probably douse some lemon all over this. Or if you're looking for, you know, more of a salad, you could go kind of the ranch route, some blue cheese or something, Italian olive oil, whatever floats your boat, you know? Keep your boat afloat. That's the goal, okay? Boats afloat. This is also a really nice one. It's from G Hughes. It's a sugar-free teriyaki marinade, and it's mm, chef's kisses. This is actually one of the only ones I'll actually use. She's the only one I got. Ba -da -ba -da. And there you have it. Like I said, not that innovative, but something like this is very, very voluminous, which to me is always kind of my goal because I just want a big, huge, fat plate of food. And this is going to satiate you. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to keep you energized. And it's extraordinarily easy to make. Obviously, it took me a little bit longer because I had to cook that entire container of turkey. But if you make that one big thing, let's say even on the weekend, and then you meal prep it out for the week, all you're having to do is reheat it and then toss it on top of a salad. Nice, quick, easy, very, very mindless. And then you can always change it up by changing your dressings, changing your seasonings, Get creative, have fun, keeping that boat afloat. I'd say cook time was probably about 20 minutes. I'd say stereotypically it's gonna be about seven. That's being generous. I think you're gonna like this next one. At least, I don't know, I like it. We're just gonna be making a quick little wrap. Pro tip is to actually heat up your tortilla. I know it's a little risque, but I like to do it straight on the stovetop. Pretty much like this. Just make it a little toasty, warm her up a little bit, give her some love, TLC, and make sure you don't burn the place down. Now, ideally you'd put on some sour cream or just something to put on a little bit as a base layer. In my case, I like to do just the smallest little bit of Greek yogurt 
And that concept used to kind of weird me out. Like why would you use Greek yogurt in replace of sour cream? But it's actually pretty darn good. And if you don't like sour cream similarly to me, try it out. Or if you just love Greek yogurt, something fun to do. <laughs> to me, that's like already too much, which is wild, but it's the truth. Add your green of choice. Mine's always arugula. I'm just an arugula gal. Can't get enough. You know what I mean? It's just the absolute best. Now I'm gonna add turkey. If you don't like turkey, do whatever you prefer. I didn't realize I eat this much turkey. <laughs> I'm a big salami gal, all right? I normally add some salami in here, but to be honest with you, I ate it all last night. Bada bing, bada boom, ta-da. And last but not least, the beautiful avocado. Like every single time I'm on camera and I wanna use one, I have that debate in my mind. Do I cut it on camera? Do I embarrass myself? Do I attempt to impress you with my new avocado skills that never turn out right when I press record? It's the ongoing battle as old as time. Ta-da! Now I squeeze, cause I'm lazy. Hey, honestly, it works really well. Don't forget to add a little salt a little pep in your step and in your wrap because our third meal is complete. And this to me is perfect. It's so delicious, you never want it to end. Oh, almost forgot, everything but the bagel. Keith and I have been obsessed with making these wraps a lot lately and he tried it by adding this on. And let me just tell you, Game changed. Game will never be the same. God, oh gosh, it looks so stinking good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Doodaloo do, doodaloo do do. Mm hmm. Oh, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Prep time, four minutes. Maybe even three. Probably even two if you're really good. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover wrap, turkey wrap, Taylor wrap. Yum, yum, yum. In my tum, make it taste good like Taylor Wood on the Taylor Woods cooking show. I rhymed wood with woods. It's a little rough. We're working on it. Last but not least, we're ending on a fun one just because I kind of want to and I can't even hold the box out of the frame for long enough. This is us taste testing and also just enjoying Trader Joe's buttermilk protein pancakes. There was never a bad time to eat pancakes. There was only good times to eat pancakes, which is all of the time. I'm usually a huge fan of Kodiak cakes. I think that they're absolutely delicious. But when I saw these at Trader Joe's the other day, I'm like, huh, all right, I'll give you a try. Joe, I'll test out your recipe. Pretty straightforward here. The box is just suggesting to add water to the dry mix. A lot of times with Kodiak cakes, they'll say use milk, or you can even add an egg if you want more protein. But I'll follow it just as it says, hoping for some just delicious, delicious pancakes. Probably will add some chocolate chips. And to me, this is the perfect lunch recipe. I don't even really love traditional lunch foods to begin with. I'm not a sandwich person. I don't even know what lunch food is. Like you think lunch, you think salads and sandwiches. Today we're having pancakes. <laughs> I shouldn't make the whole thing, right? No, that would be ridiculous, Taylor. Reese is of course eating like she's never seen food before right below me, so sorry, headphone listeners. It's equal portions of dry mix and water, so we're doing a half of a cup because two pancakes doesn't sound like enough. It's either two or six, so I'm going rogue and we're doing a half. Flip, I didn't even measure it. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? That's the thing, I'm not. God, I didn't realize you'd see baking Taylor today. She's not as good. Well, I take that back. They're all bad. I kind of regret using water. I sort of wish I would have done some sort of milk or almond milk something, but I'm a big fan of listening to instructions. I'm a big fan of following the rules. And if they told me to use water, I'm gonna trust them. This is a trust issue. Do you get deja vu? This is the part I usually run into trouble because I'm not good at putting them onto the skillet. These are itty bitty. We're doing American Girl sized pancakes today. Do you think that this is what they intended? They wanted them to be this stinking small? Because this is supposed to be making four pancakes. Those are silver dollar. Do, 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 do. Pancakes, anyone? I don't know why I'm acting so weird today. I'm sorry. I don't understand why I'm so horrible at the basics. I'm not even trying, like that's the embarrassing sad thing. I am genuinely trying to be really, really good. And I just turn out really, really bad and really, really sad. Strawberry ice cream in Malibu. I'd 
I'd say consistency is actually turning out pretty well. Sometimes you never know with protein pancakes what they're going to be like or if they're going to be too runny, maybe too grainy, but these look fairly good to start. I completely forgot to add chocolate chips, so I'm probably going to need to make a second batch. That's my fault. A few moments later. I completely take that back. These are starting to look more like cookie biscuits. I don't know how to explain it. This looks more like a hardened cookie rather than a pancake. I'm expecting fluff. I'm expecting flavor, divine taste. We'll see about the taste, but the presentation's looking a little weird. turned out. Honestly, it looks good because, well, it's pancakes. I had to put it on such a small plate because it would have looked kind of ridiculous on a big one. So I'm going to say straight out of the gates, if you're making these, pretty much triple the recipe because this is sad for a lunch. But that was my first time making them, so I wasn't sure. But we're going to do a taste test. Mmm. All right. Kind of popping off on the buttermilk. Mmm. Mmm. You're going to laugh. With a little bit of syrup, these are reminding me of McDonald's pancakes, which are arguably some of my favorite pancakes ever. And every single time I want to go there, I want hotcakes. I want McDonald's hotcakes. I don't know if these are the best protein pancakes that I've ever tried, but it is always nice to switch it up, try new recipes, try new pre-mixes and see if you like them. And overall execution time, I think it took me just right around 20 minutes, which feels kind of long. I thought it was going to be a bit quicker, but not bad for a fun different lunch idea. If you're wanting this to be an actual full blown lunch, I'd probably say double the recipe, maybe even add in some milk if you want a little bit more protein in the actual batch. Butter. Top them with peanut butter, strawberries, berries, chocolate chips, whatever you want to make them delicious. And you could always pair this with something super easy like a smoothie, make it happen and make it delicious. I don't know why I'm talking. The food is getting cold. Woo! Woo! Mmm! The food coma has commenced. Reese and I are just snuggling it up here now. I feel so stuffed. I just ate so much food and it was so delicious and I feel so nourished and good. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful in some way. Sorry, that was just the worst angle and this isn't much better, but thank you for watching. I hope that maybe you learned a fun recipe. Like I said, this is for people who maybe just don't like the kitchen like myself. You want something easy, but it's still going to help you fuel yourself throughout the rest of your day. Share a recipe with me down below or tag me in a recipe or something on Instagram. I'd love to try out some of your favorite easy recipes to make for lunch, dinner, breakfast, you name it. And if you like this kind of video, please let me know and I'm happy to make some more for you, but stay safe. Love you all. I'll see you on the next one. We love you.